Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video, I'm super excited to introduce relative overlays in Framer. This release makes it much easier to design large navigations with all sorts of drop down menus. So let's have a look at what's new. Here I have a simple navigation. It's just a stack layer with a few text layers within it. And let's say we wanted to add a drop down menu to the product item here. With it selected, I'll open the insert panel and I'll head over to an all new category called menus. And this includes a bunch of custom design menus that serve as starting points for your navigation. And I can simply click and drag directly from the insert panel onto our text layer and doing so instantly adds it as a relative overlay. And this brings us directly into the new edit mode and all the items within it are directly customizable. So these menus should really save you a lot of time manually setting up these common menu layout patterns. And on the right here, we have a bunch of new properties allowing us to customize our relative overlays. We can quickly play with things like alignment, positioning, and different ways to trigger and dismiss the overlay. Most default values here are perfect for this demo, but I do want to add a little bit more distance between the item and the menu. So I'll use the shift arrow down keys to add some more distance. And that's really all we had to do. So let me zoom out a bit and let's hit the preview button to see what we have so far. As we now hover over product, our menu fades in nicely and automatically dismisses again as well. And all of this essentially with a single drag and drop. I'll hit done to exit the edit mode here and next, let's talk about components. In real projects, you most often want this navigation to be a component so you can reuse it across all of your pages. So I'll hit Command K to turn this into a new component. Now you might be wondering what happened to the relative overlay that we made earlier. So let's have a look. We designed an all new overlay edit mode specifically for components allowing you to design truly reusable navigations with drop-down menus. And very similar to the edit mode on pages, you can preview in the top left corner and you can exit from the top right. Next, let's also add a drop-down to resources, but this time showing a little bit of a different workflow. I'll select the text layer and then I'll head over to the overlays property and this allows us to add new relative overlays from scratch. And we give you this frame that you can customize to your liking. And we also add an appear effect by default. But at this point, we might not know exactly the type of menu we're after just yet. So to allow you to experiment with different types of menus on the go, we've also implemented a swap feature. So I can go back to the insert menu and drag and drop different menus directly onto our existing overlay to swap them. And just like before, I can go ahead and customize this menu right away. And I'll again bump this one down 20 extra pixels. And with the menu selected, we can also customize the appear effect that Framer gives us. So let's also add a little bit of a scale in animation to our appear effect. Then I'll right click to copy this effect. And then we'll use the layer panel to instantly jump to the previous overlay. And here we can simply right click and paste the appear effect. The ability to jump between different overlays allows you to easily keep them in sync. And all of this happens within a component, so it's all entirely reusable. And if we now give this a preview, you can see that we now have two overlay menus that each appear on hover and that have a nice subtle skill in effect. 
So those were the basics of relative overlays. Next, I'll transform this document into something that's a little higher fidelity to show you what else we can do with this new feature. There are two major changes in this setup. One, I componentized all the links and this allows me to reuse them in the mobile version. So we get the same links, both for the overlay and on the mobile menu. And we simply use variants to change the styling between the two. And the second thing is that our triggers are now also components with two simple variants. One for the default state or the closed variant and one for the open state called the open variant. And here I've simply changed the color of the text and I flipped over the carrot as well. So let's go back to the navigation and let's add an overlay to the product item. And instead of customizing it, I'll quickly exit out of the edit mode here. I'll pan over to the product links instance and I'll copy this component. Then I'll go back into the overlay. I'll right click and I'll select paste in place. And this swaps the default frame with our custom component. This is a super powerful feature as it means you don't have to deal with any nested layouts here and the links are completely reusable. The menu takes care of all of the layout and styling and we can focus on the overlay settings and effects. I have already set up a pair effects for the resources and the community links. So I'll quickly grab the appear effect from that overlay and I'll paste it onto the one we just made. All right, now let's go back to the homepage and give this a preview. So our menu is working and everything is set up within reusable components, but our trigger here doesn't update just yet. So let's take a look at how to switch the variant on open. When the trigger of your overlay is a component with variants, you get the option to switch the variants whenever the overlay is open. It's very simple. We just get this single dropdown here and we can pick which variant to show alongside our menu. And again, this is the variant we're switching to. And this is very powerful because we can design anything in these variants and animate between the two with custom transitions. So let's go back to the preview. And as you can see, we now have a trigger that's aware of the state of our menu. It animates to this state on open and it animates back whenever we dismiss the menu. Now, during this video, you might have noticed that even though we have a gap between our trigger and our menu, Framer is smart enough not to dismiss our overlay menu when we move the cursor from the trigger onto the menu. And this is thanks to our dynamic safe area. We calculate a safe area for your cursor to travel within in real time. So your menus will never accidentally dismiss as you're moving your cursor. As a final note, I would also like to point out that we've completely refreshed the navigation section within our insert menu as well. You can simply drag and drop one onto your desktop breakpoint and it will adapt to your existing breakpoints as well. For example, this one has drop down menus on the desktop breakpoint. and it scales down to a custom overlay on mobile as well, with all links neatly set up within components as well, so you can rest assured that any edits you make will instantly be reflected across all of your breakpoints. And if you'd like to remix complete projects that are set up end to end, you can find many more custom navigation demos on nav.supply as well. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoy using these new features. 
and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.